Nightlight for Monday, March 15, 2022. I'm Carolina Suero. And I'm Carol Sacco with your school news and announcements for Jose Martin Mass 6 through 12 Academy. The Future Educators of America will be meeting on Monday, March 14th. Drama Club will be meeting for practice on Thursday, March 17th. Attention juniors, your new date for your ring ceremony is Tuesday, April 5th at 6 p.m. March 14th is Pi Day. Here is Jonathan to tell us more about Pi Day. Hello, my name is Jonathan Gomez, and today we're going to be talking about Pi Day. Pi Day is an annual celebration of the mathematical constant Pi. Pi Day observes on March 14th since 3, 1, and 4 are the first three significant digits of Pi. It was founded in 1988 by Larry Shaw. Celebrations often involve eating pie or holding pie recitation competitions, which we are having in our school, so please be sure to participate. To celebrate Pi Day, we will be discussing the history of the constant pi, also referred to as Archimedes' constant. Equivalently, its decimal never ends and never repeats. Around 250 BC, the Greek mathematician Archimedes created an algorithm to approximate pi. In the 5th century AD, Chinese mathematicians approximated pi to seven digits, while Indian mathematicians made a five digit approximation. The earliest known use of the Greek letter pi to represent the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter was by the Welsh mathematician William Jones in 1706. Nevertheless, in the 20th and 21st centuries, mathematicians and computer scientists have pursued new approaches that extend the decimal representation of pi to trillions of digits. Pi is an irrational number and cannot be expressed by a common fraction. This is frequently defined as the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. However, it also has a various equivalence. We will now move along to Ms. Henderson. How many, okay. How many digits of pi do you know? During each lunch on today, Mu Alpha Theta will be hosting a digits of pi competition. Write as many digits of pi as you can remember. Results will be announced at the end of the day. The top student will receive an award. The Silver Knights dance team presents the Mardi Gras Party School dance from 1.30 to 3 in the cafeteria March 17th. Buy your ticket for $5 on, on OSP. The price of the door on March 17th will go up $7. The ticket includes candy, a drink, fun activities, and a performance from some of our dancers. We'll be right back after this video. Good morning, students and staff. My name is Ms. Renette, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm the new counselor in the school. We are happy to announce that Jose Mati will be particip participating in Save Something Week. Save Something is a free program offered by Sandy Hook in which they teach students how to identify warning signs and how to get help if another student presents any symptoms of trying to hurt themselves or others. What we want you guys to look out for are any warning signs such as injuries from any scratching or cutting, uh, if a student loses interest in uh, daily activity that they, that they used to enjoy, if they become isolated, if they have any mood swings, or they become like irritable all of, all of a sudden. The second thing that you guys should do is take action and as soon as you notice those symptoms, go to a trusted adult so that they can go help that student. Any trusted adult can be a teacher, your parents in school, you have me, Ms. Pelaez, Ms. Estrada, Ms. Robles, Mr. Enrique, Mr. Enriquez. The important thing is that you guys stay observant and go get help. We're having a poetry contest to celebrate Say Something Week. All students are invited to, to participate. You must write a poem related to the importance of being an upstander, a good friend, or having a trusted adult that you can go to. Turn in the poem by Wednesday, March 16th to Miss Vernet's office. Students are invited to read their poems during lunch on Thursday, March 17th in our open mic. Winners and prizes will be announced the week we come back from break. Thursday, March 17th is St. Patrick's Day. And you know what that means. That's right, we're having a green theme dress down day. Wear green and buy your wristband for $2 before school in the breezeway on Thursday. Remember that attire must comply with MDCPS dress code guidelines. That's it for us today. Have a great day.